Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm back at my uh, favourite haunt these days, the Plough and Harrow in Hammersmith. Uh, and I'm about to read my latest poem. It's called Me, the Bones and the Worms. I keep digging up bones from my memory. Bones I must have hidden over time. Some from many years hence, all discarded, well chewed upon and gnawed to death. There are many to be found, not that I'm looking for them, for unlike a dog I'd buried them in the hope that they would be lost, out of sight and beyond known existence, eradicated from my mind, but some things will not be blotted out. Bones take such a long time to decay, they outlive lifetimes, that's why I keep stumbling across them. Never when I'm moving forward, only as I regress, retrace my tracks as I try to make sense of my past, to see sense in it all. I'm in therapy and I've been worming. The trouble is that my tin is full to overflowing and I'm struggling to get the lid to go back on, especially as the worms sense freedom, the opportunity to escape and I would do the same. With the therapy comes a shovel, it's obligatory, comes with a dual purpose to dig up both the worms and the bones, all of which I left in shallow graves, dug quickly as I fled my predicaments, retreated to the safety of my solitude. That's why there are so many of them, because I've been running constantly for what seems like an eternity and I don't know which are the worst the worms or the bones maybe they are one and the same or parasites on one another that I am the rich rotting manure on which they gladly feed but I do know that it's time to retrace my steps and give them all a proper burial to hell with the consequences. After all, the tin is full to overflowing, and my time has become very precious, so much so that I can't be struggling with constantly digging up the worms and bones from my past. Time spent hoping they'll simply disappear on their own has diminished and been wasted, and I think we deserve much better than that. Me the bones and the worms. I'm ready for therapy now. I've been, I've, I've run out of running. It's time to live at last, to face my daunting past.